beautiful people and welcome to day 25 of the Boot Yourself Countdown here on Beautiful Design. My name is Sandra Diana and today I'm working on some electronic equipment for Dr. Finkelstein's laboratory, otherwise known as our dining room. <laughs> Now, every good mad scientist needs his own Tesla coils or other electromagnetic conductors. And I don't know what they're called, but they conduct electricity. And they're gonna look really neat in our dining room. <laughs> A little bit of poster board, paper mache, balloons, and some spray paint, and some very blue fairy lights are all you need to make this project. Oh, and of course, duct tape. So let's get started, shall we? The first thing you do is make these quarter circles. I wanted to use a piece of string, but all I could find were my headphones. I tied them to one end of the pencil, held the other in the corner here, and then just swept along until I got two circles that almost touch. And they're symmetrical so that the machinery that I'm making will be of equal height when they're on the bookshelves. Using the exact same headphones and pencil technique, I drew another quarter circle here and then cut out the whole piece so that when I duct tape this together, duct tape to the rescue again, it ends up looking like a kind of shame, but then I can set the orb up here and put cellu clay all over it to give it one cohesive look. And what are we gonna use for the orb up top? A balloon! You remember paper mache balloons in elementary school, don't you? We're just gonna set that right in there and duct tape it down and it will be all ready to be cast in cellu clay. Look, twinsies! Here's what these guys look like once they're completely dry. I bought these furniture shacks so I can attach them to our table when I'm making Dr. Finkelstein's slab. So I decided also to use them on these because once they're all spring painted the same color, they'll look like rivets. These guys are ready for a couple coats of paint. Just like Dr. Finkelstein's lab cart, they're getting two coats of paint, one with the dark first, followed by the light to give it a little bit of a galvanized steel look. They look a little bit alien after their first coat of metallic spray paint. Let's see if we can't lighten them up a bit. Dr. Finkelstein's equipment is almost complete. They're a beautiful shiny metallic color with a lot of depth because I used those two different colors of spray paint. Now I'm gonna add the electric component. I have 10 foot string lights that I got from Michaels with a coupon in blue. I'm simply gonna put a hole in the top of each and string the lights between the two of them. Now you can do several pieces going zigzagged across or underneath or around, however you wanna show an electric current. But in my house, we have these. This is actually the inside of our 1930s radio. We took it out for no other purpose than the fact that it looks really neat up on the bar. And this is a throw switch. I got it on eBay a couple years ago, and it's just something cool that sits on our bar. But today it's gonna become part of our Halloween decorations. And here's what they look like once they're turned on. It's quite electrifying. Now aren't those kinda neat? Come back tomorrow for another special project here on the Boot Yourself Countdown on Beautiful Design. Again, my name is Sandra Diana. Go ahead and follow me on social media at Beautiful Design. Please like this video and make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single moment of the Halloween fun. Until next time, have a beautiful day.